What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be installing our rear cat fuel filter for the 2017 plus 6.7 power stroke. Um, we're really excited about this part. It's been a long time coming. So this kit actually replaces the whole rear fuel filter housing. So the whole big plastic assembly that sucks to change. It's a lot cleaner. So we use a spin-on cat fuel filter. Um, we have the water separator on the bottom, so there's a nice billet piece that threads on the bottom of that. Spin-on design. Like I said, it's a lot cleaner. Cheaper filters, so now you can, have, you can run a front cat kit and a rear cat kit, full assembly. And yeah, it'll save you some money on filter changes, better filtration. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's start installing this thing. You ready to install this? I guess so. <laughs> Slap her in there. <laughs> Me and Adam are loading up on the Braxton's truck. And we're gonna install a fuel filter. We're gonna drain the fuel out of this puppy. And get soaked. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it's got two little pinch tabs you're gonna wanna squeeze in and then twist it at the same time. And then it should, there we go. It's fuel drain out there. I'm gonna shut this off since the fuel's kind of stopped there. And then. There we go. Okay. So pop those out. <laughs> Get that out of the way. You're gonna wanna take this clip off here. This electrical connector. This one is actually broken. You got four fittings on the top here. You have three along the back. They're gonna be kind of a chore. And then this guy here. So we're gonna pop these clips off and try to get them to release. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to release this little clip here. And then this lip on the back pushes down. Once you do that, you should be able to just release the clip connect line, number one, or number two, I guess. Then we move to the yellow one right here. Okay. Okay. So, once you get those popped in, they can fight a little bit. Then you should be able to just slide number second one and let's see if this guy pop back out. Boom. Just like that. And those three in the back are going to be a pain. So, you can see th the three quick connects in the back. You got two blues, the yellow. Then you got one more up right there that comes down. And then you have the water and fuel sensor right there that you just disconnect from the bottom of that. All right, so we got the mounting bracket here, our two mounting bolts, and then our housing. So we're gonna attach the mounting bracket to the housing now before we stick it up in there. Crank them down. Got the housing here, and it will mount up pretty much similar to the OEM one here. We'll slide it down in that pocket and reconnect all these holes. Hose. <laughs> you just want to kind of get them in line there so you're not fighting any of them later on. You can kind of set this in here. We got one, two, and three. three. So there's your three. And then it will sit down there like that. And then the fourth one will go on the side. Come and attach it like that. Bolt, and then the pocket will hold the bracket, keeping it pretty secure there. So we can thread, go ahead and thread that in there. So we're just going to finish tightening this up, and then we can go ahead and get the lines all clipped in. And put the fuel separator on. So we're just gonna go over all four fuel lines and make the clip. Should all clip in nice and good there. So we got that. New water separator here. The water and fuel sensor in the bottom there. Go ahead and thread her on. Thread right in. Line this up for the sensor, and then now we'll just plug on like that once we do our repairs here. 
So we're just gonna cycle the key a couple times, let the filter fill up, and then once we get to that point, we can go ahead and try to start the truck. So you're gonna wanna cycle this key about three to four times. So there's our second time. You can hear it filling up down there. Okay, third time. Off again. 